सिस्टम सी एग्जाम्पल टू पॉइंट सिक्सटीन द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट इज जूल एंड जूल दैट इज इक्वल टू किलोग्राम मीटर स्क्वेर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर दैट ऑफ स्पीड वी इज मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड एक्सेलरेशन ए इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर विच ऑफ द फॉर्मूला फॉर काइनेटिक एनर्जी गिवन बिलो can you rule out on the basis of dimensional arguments m stands for the mass of the body now here five equations are given to you so we have to check all these equations one by one okay now see unit of energy that is given to you in the question that is joule and that is kilogram meter square second raise to minus 2 so for that if we prepare the dimensional formula then we can write the dimensional formula of energy that is for kilogram m1 for meter square you can write l2 for second raise to minus 2 you can write t raise to minus 2 now kinetic energy that is after all energy so here we have to check in which equation on both the side the dimensional formula that is m1 l2 t minus 2 now see here question a in that the equation given to you kinetic energy k equal to m square v cube so on left hand side the dimensions of kinetic energy k equal to m1 l2 t minus 2 now dimensions on right hand side so that is of m square v cube so for m dimensions that is m raised to 1 and its square is appearing here so take here square of m raised to 1 then after v cube dimensions of v that is l1 t minus 1 and take cube of it so resultantly you will get here m raised to 2 l raised to 3 t raised to minus 3 so here we can see this thing the dimensions of left hand side is not equal to dimensions of right hand side so we can say dimensionally this is not valid clear now second equation kinetic energy k that is equal to half m v square so dimensions on left hand side that is of kinetic energy k equal to m1 l2 t minus 2 dimensions of right hand side so that is of half mv square equal to now half is dimensionless so no need to write its dimensions for mass you can write m1 for velocity l1 t raise to minus 1 whole square so finally you will get m1 l2 t minus 2 it implies that for this given equation dimensions on left hand side that is equal to dimensions on right hand side so we can say it is dimensionally valid clear to all of you now next one question c the equation is k equal to ma so dimensions of left hand side of k that is equal to m1 l2 t minus 2 and of right hand side that is of ma equal to now for mass m1 for acceleration l1 t minus 2 so resultantly the dimensions of right hand side that will be m1 l1 t minus 2 so dimensions of left hand side that is not equal to dimensions of right hand side and therefore 
equation is not valid dimensionally not valid clear now next question d kinetic energy k that is equal to 3 by 16 mv square here the dimensional formula of left hand side that is of k equal to m1 l2 t minus 2 and that of right hand side that is of 3 by 16 mv square so 3 by 16 that is dimension less constant no need to write its dimensions now for mass m1 for v l1 t minus 1 and square of it appears so we can directly write l2 t minus 2 so here the dimensions of left hand side and dimensions of right hand side that is same one so we can say it is dimensionally valid but see here this equation is dimensionally valid but for physics it is wrong one because as per physics the definition of kinetic energy that is half m by 2 mv square right so this yes. one is dimensionally valid but as far as the physics is concerned it is wrong one not valid now next one so k equal to half mv square plus ma so here when the right hand side given to you that is the summation of different terms so here we have to check the dimensions of each term that should be same one as well as that should be equal to the dimensions of left hand side so dimensions of left hand side that is of k equal to m1 l2 t minus 2 first term on right hand side that is half mv square equal to m1 l2 t minus 2 this we derived previously so directly it is written for ma also we derived previously that is m1 l1 t minus 2 so here the dimensional formula of left hand side that is equal to dimensional formula of first term of right hand side but that is not equal to dimensions of the second term on right hand side and therefore we can say this equation is dimensionally not valid clear beta now second application so with the help of dimensional analysis one can establish the relationship between different physical quantities or we can say one can derive the equation of any physical quantity in terms of some other physical quantity